my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Baby and a Bush. Birth of Moses and the Burning Bush. Let's read. Egypt was filled with Israelites. The new Pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites be, would become too powerful, so he made them slaves and treated them very badly. So Egypt was filled with Israelites, and they were Pharaoh was afraid because they, the Israelites would become too powerful. <laughs> Paro ordered that the that all baby Israelite boys have to be killed. One woman put her baby in a basket and hide them by the river's edge. He was sister sister watched them. His sister watched them. So power ordered that all baby Israel boys has to be killed. So one woman put his baby in the basket and hide them. Question that Tara made the Israelite slaves because he thought they were becoming too weak? True false. No. Tara thought Israelites was becoming too powerful. Paro's daughter was bathing by the river. She found the baby in the basket. And, and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother help caring help to care for him. Paro's daughter made him named him Moses. So the princess of Egypt, Pharaoh's daughter, find the baby, and he she decided to keep him. And thought his sister Miriam has told the princess that my mom can help to keep care for the baby. Moses grew up. One day, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. Moses killed him, killed the Egyptian. Then he ran away to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. So Moses grew and one day he killed an Egyptian because he saw that Egyptian was beating an Israel. And he knew that he was an Egyptian, so he killed the Egyptian. So, and he ran away to Midian and was a shepherd for 40, uh, 40 years. Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. He, the voice was the voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. So Moses was watching the sheep in Horeb. 
part and the burning bush will stir and God spoke my people are suffering Moses I have chosen you to free them Moses cried. I will help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses said. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. So he said, I can't. I can't free the Israelites. Choose another person. And God said, I, have, I will help you. Children were stopped, and God showed them the miracle. Miracle. <laughs> Question: How did God speak to Moses? Number one, the burning bush. Number two, the basket in the baby. The baby in the basket. Number three, Paro. Number one was the correct answer. Put your hand in your cloth. So God said, Moses did. He looked at his hand. It was covered with Jesus when he did again. It was healed. Show Paro did. God said. So God showed him. The miracles and God said, Show this to Paro. Oh. I'm not good a speaker. I'm not a good speaker, said Moses. I will give you the words God said. Your brother Aaron can help you to see, help you to. So Moses went to tell Paro to send the Israelites free. So he said, I'm still not a good speaker. I'm not good at, I can't. But God said, you can do it. I will give you the words and your brother Aaron can help you to see. Help you. <laughs> Question God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Paro to let the Israelites go. True. <clears throat> Yesterday we read the <coughs> Yesterday we read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!